As we get closer to a potential default in that X date, ahead of any debt ceiling deal, what could that mean for crypto prices? Our Dom Chu has been tracking that. Dom, it always could an be, angle for crypto. It could be downside, Sarah, and we've already seen it play out over, over the course of the last month, to your point. If you take a look at what has happened with Bitcoin prices specifically and more broadly speaking, crypto in general, you take a look at Bitcoin prices over the course of the last year, we're still down about 9% over that span, but we had a sharp rise to start the year only to see things start to really kind of tail off, especially around what happened with the debt ceiling negotiations, specifically in the last month or so here. If you look at it in context of where it was with the stock market, the curious part is Bitcoin prices have started to react a little bit more to debt ceiling uncertainty, much more than stock prices have. If you look at the Invesco QQQ Trust, it's up 11 percent over the last month. Even the S&P 500, from a broader standpoint, yes, we know that it's more tech heavy, three and a half percent gains there versus a six percent drop in Bitcoin prices in that same span. So a more risk aversion type trade playing out with that green line, which is Bitcoin prices. Now, to put all of that in context, Carl, Sarah, the data team at Y Charts looked at the numbers and they checked out the trading relationship or correlation between the Invesco QQQ trust versus Bitcoin prices. Now, over the last year, we are now hovering near the highest levels in terms of trading relationship, meaning that Bitcoin prices and the QQQ have kind of followed each other more broadly. We've seen a little bit of a rollover here in the last month or so. But, Carl, in the last year, we got as low as about 0 0.4 uh, just kind of in the fall of last year. And by the way, that just kind of puts a little bit more in context for just how much of that risk aversion trade, Carl, is playing out. And by the way, if you're curious about what the trading relationship has been over the long term over the last five years, I just tweeted out that chart for you and the viewers out there, Carl.